Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use Kinkone this touch switch panel. As you can see uh, this is two gun and also we will have four gun, six gun and eight gun. Uh, just you can see uh, that have the different terminal. So in this video I will take this two gun for example because it's a simple uh, version so that can easy to understand. We will look at the hardware details and the principle and how to use with a relay board. And you can see uh, this is not a smart switch. This just a momentary switch panel. So because uh, usually it's, it's mechanical, so this just is a touch version. So let's look at uh, at the back of the switch. You can see this is DC 12 volt power supply and this is KCOM and K1 and K2 and this one you can see that is ground uh, DCOM and D1, D2 uh, actually in the, our PCB design this KCOM and this ground and this DCOM all is together uh, just easy for you to connect with the wire so you just can connect with DC 12 volt I have used this uh, external power supply DC 12 watt, uh, just you can see the 12 watt and the ground is okay. And this is just a ground because I will use this multimeter to test the voltage so that let you understand. And this is K1. Uh, this K1 just uh, when press this button and the signal will output uh, when you press this button and release this button will output a different voltage. So that can uh, add input to this uh, digital input of the ESP32 bar. Okay, uh, you can see if we power on of this switch, uh, there are LD, the blue LD is very, only a little brightness. Uh, you can see if I disconnect it, let's look at uh, clearly. Uh, you can see, uh, see my this LD indicate, this is power off. But you can see if I power on, because just only a little, you can see only a little. If I disconnect, if I connect, you can see the blue is only a little color. Just connect and disconnect, connect and disconnect. So this is only a little blue LD. Because if you in use in the night, uh, your house, uh, that will, it's not good, uh, it's too light. So it's only a little, the color. Okay, this is one power on, so this LED will be have a blue color. And uh, now you can see, I will test this K1. Uh, this K1 have connect to my ESP32 board. Uh, this is A8 board, you can see. This is King Kong A8 board. Actually, you can use any Kinkone ESP32 bar or your own relay bar. Just connect with the digital input. I have used one cable connect to the digital input because this two board, uh, you can see this power supply and this power supply, I uh, use one power supply. If you use two different power supply, such as this have a power supply A and this have a power supply B, you must need to let this calm, this ground, the two power ground connected together. It's very important. Okay, now I will show you the multimeter. So you can see this I have connected with the ground and so I will connect with this multimeter. Just this connect with the ground. And this I will test the voltage. Uh, we will test the voltage. You can see that's the voltage. And now let's test it. Uh, test this, you can see, I just test this part, uh, just this part. And you will see, you can see, uh, this almost is 12 watt. If I press this button, you can see it become low level, just zero watt. So this you can see, touch, 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 touch. So the voltage will be changed. So you can test uh, whether your uh, switch work well. So you can test the voltage, but you must uh, need connect with your switch uh, to this digital input. 
uh, if you disconnect this cable, test the voltage will only 3 volt. You can see, just test like this. So that is change the different voltage output to this ESP32 board. So you can see, I can connect the Ethernet cable with my A8, S, A8 board. Now let's look at my computer. You can see this is KCS web page, and we can click this monitor and pay attention to my digital input one, uh, this one. You can see, if I press this button, you can see this turn green. If I remove, it's, it's, it's recover the color. So you can see, this is touch and get the input different voltage so that can display it on the uh, web page. So you can create FTTT command at here. So you can create uh, when press this button and let relay on or press this button and let sound relay uh, make uh, for different action is no problem. So this is how to get the signal uh, from this digital input. So this switch only just uh, output uh, high level or low level. Uh, so just the 12 volt or zero volt. So this is the principle of this switch panel. Uh, but sometimes you need to pay attention. If we power off, power off this board, and we can open this uh, front panel. And we can remove this terminal, remove this terminal. And I can open this front panel. You can see this is a glass and this is a touch component touch component and we can can see this clearly so uh, if two gun just use these two buttons the right button and if six gun you can see one two three four five six will have six button you can see this have some touch component and you can see uh, this without because it's not well well this have two channel and this is just a glass so if you can see if I connect it if I connect it and power on so you can see if I power on and now you can see I can continue this, no problem. Uh, you can see my uh, web page, it will be turn green and turn another color, no problem. But if the first time you have power on, then you can install this panel. Okay, you can see I can install it. Why you have this course? Uh, the circuit when power on will auto to detect the touch. Uh, this can't work. So you must need to power off and install the in front of the panel and then power on. You can see then power on and now we can click again so you can see it's work. So this is very important. You must install uh, this in front panel and then power on so that can be uh, work well okay and uh, this is how to use this switch button control this relay board and you can see here have some d1 d2 uh, four gun you have one two three four or six gun you will have d1 two d6 or eight gun you will have d1 two d8 that is feedback 12 volt for the ld indicates uh, what this means so you can see if I use my twice, uh, short this 12 volt for D1, you can see, I can short for D1. Let's look at the LD indicate. So you can see, uh, this connect and disconnect and connect and disconnect. So this brightness will be changed. And this usually can use for the release state feedback. So if you want, let this board, uh, when you on, have a state feedback. So you just let a 12 volt feedback 
to this terminal uh, D1 or D2. So that when relay on have 12 volts, so LD is on, and relay is off, uh, the voltage is zero volt, so the LD is off. So this is to feedback the relay state. Okay, so this is how to use this uh, touch panel uh, for Kinkone controller. Thanks for watching.